Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's roundtable, we've got all the usual suspects. We've got the technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm good. Happy to be here today. Good to see you. we got the Zen master. Breathe in the mailing. Breathe out the marketing. Mike Zano. Mike, how are you? Doing wonderful. Thank you. Good to see you. We've got Dude Buddy, the nightcap OG, your partner in crime, Mike Zano. Scott Bossman. Scott, how are you? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. We've got, we, I think we're still working on Cheria's nickname. Last week was pretty good, though. Yeah, what, last week was good. What was, what was the, the, the nickname? Taria, get your reps in, Harris. Put Taria, in the reps. Get... Put in the reps. Put in Taria, the... put in the reps. <laughs> Taria, put in the reps, Harris. Taria, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Tate Litchfield. Tate, how are things? You're going well, thanks. You know, it'd be great if we could look over your shoulder and see how you work. Oh, that's right, we can. Go to landgeek.com forward slash lots. And last but not least, the brain. The flight school Sherpa, the professor, Scott Todd, scotttodd.net, landmoto.com, learn anything about anything, investorninjas.com. Scott Todd, how are you? Mark, I'm doing well. How are you? Pulse is still normal. Respiration's fine. We got a full crowd and we've got an incredible topic. It's inspiring. It's motivational. It's life changing. The topic. I don't know why, I don't know why you wouldn't like. I, look, I, if you're listening, if you well, I hope, hopefully you're listening to this one, but Matt, if you haven't taken action already on this topic, why not? Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't do this. It is two and a half days of land investing immersion. It is coming up January 22nd to the 24th. What are we talking about? Land Geek Bootcamp. And so we're going to go around and kind of talk a little bit about um, why you should go to bootcamp what you can experience there and, and what makes it so magical. And I think to start, because it's just so fun to start with Mike Zeno is- uh, Did we start with Mike... me last year? I thought it was Eric's turn again this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Eric, 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 Eric bribes me every week. Don't make He's me- very different. good at that. <laughs> yeah. I think, honestly, I think it's tougher going last. Because after everyone has said their thought, it's like, now you got to kind of try to come up with something original and sometimes it's tough. So I think he's putting himself in a, yeah. in a tougher position. That's why Scott Todd typically goes last. It's like the toughest spot. I agree. So I will happily go first uh, with that in mind. Uh, so boot camp, it's amazing, Mark. You know, here's one thing. There's not a lot of people doing this business, like literally. There's not a lot of people doing this business. So if you like want to talk about other people or be inspired by a group of people doing this, you you really that this is like the boot camp is the place to come. I mean, you, you, your friends, uh, you know, your, your relatives, no one's going to really understand the fact you're investing in raw land and so on and so forth. So to get that inspiration from the community that you you know you'll see on Facebook, you'll see in our mighty networks, but to actually be there live, I, I think first and foremost that's awesome. The coming together of all these people, the synergy that it brings is absolutely amazing. You get to hear stories of people's successes. You you hear how people would do things different if they were to start again. And if you're new, you definitely want to hear that. You want to hear, um, well, this goes back to what we like to talk about with you, Mark, all the mistakes that uh, you've made over the years that in our benefit. And, you know, uh, we don't like to point that out, but it is beneficial to us now. No, right? I mean, I've, I've lost millions of dollars in mistakes, <laughs> all for your benefit. So, and we talk about it at boot camp, and I'm I'm happy to. Yeah, um, you, you know then, what's great too is your wealth mindset. That is worth price of admission alone. I I always look forward to that uh, to that segment when you do the wealth mindset. I just I think you you really um, you really hit on the head when you know we're talking about making money here, but you, you talk about the bigger picture, and I think that is uh, extraordinary. It's not something that people would normally be exposed to, and I think that alone. So if you don't know what that is, you got to go and see the wealth mindset. Mark Podolsky. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Um, dude, buddy, nightcap OG, Scott Bossman. Um, I always love telling the story about your first boot camp. It never gets old. Sitting in oh, that man. room, or that, that room in Vegas. And, you know, for those of you that don't, haven't met Scott in person, he's a big guy. 
and um, he's got his arms crossed. Uh, Scott, how tall are you? I'm six four. I have a very short torso, so everybody thinks when they're going to meet me that I'm this kind of short guy. But yeah, I'm six four. Yeah, so I'm I'm presenting in the front of the room, and this guy, six four, wearing a white t-shirt, is like. Uh, like that like is like shooting like darts at my in my face and i'm just completely intimidated i don't know if you know this guy is gonna like give me some kind of curveball question if if you know it was very intimidating and sure enough it was scott bossman well he was wearing a white you beater know, too wasn't he I think yeah he right was. yeah of yeah. course uh i don't think i was wearing a t-shirt either um uh, but anyway no listen no shirt? uh no shirt, right? Yeah. Um, Muscles rippling. Just, just you know, <laughs> the alpha. In his fist. Remember that, Mark? On his I, fist. Uh-huh. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you're telling yeah. me we can buy property 25, 30 cents in the dollar? Really? You know those hand things? You, you squeeze the hand things and work your hands out like this, you know? <laughs> you're sitting yeah. there doing both this the whole time. I remember that. I remember Mark. Yeah. Here's, here's how it is though. Like I'm a thinker, right? I, I process things in my head. Now, I don't know if you remember Bark, but I had actually already done a deal or two before that boot camp, So I knew it worked, but, uh, I think I was nervous. Uh, I think I was a little intimidated by, you know, the knowledge in the room. No, I mean, it, it's just, I, I'm a thinker. So I'm very analytical. I like to process things. I'm not very emotional, I guess, uh, at times when I'm in the process of thinking. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she was there. She's like, oh, my God, like the whole time. She's very animated, as you know, and very excited to be there. And uh, I guess when I think about boot camp, I think of a few things, not only the content you get in two and a half days, but the community and the connection that you make in those two and a half days and the proof of concept that you gain over that time. Um, now I went in a believer cause I had done a deal. My wife was a little bit, she's like, uh, I still don't quite know. She came out and she was like, we're going into coaching. We're doing this, we're doing this. And she was all fired up about it. And, um, you see a lot of proof of concept for the weekends. You see deals done in real time, the boot camp magic. It happens, you know, back then it didn't happen as often, but now we got deals going all day long. We talk about the numbers. We talk about, you know, what'd you buy this for? What'd you sell it for? And uh, there, there's money being made throughout the weekend, which is really cool. And then you get to hear my favorite part. You get to hear the stories of people who just by taking action consistently and learning from, from other people in the business, their lives change. And we have example after example after example of that. And it's, I, I love going to each and every new boot camp because there are just more examples. And uh, that's why I just really encourage everybody to go because um, you're going to be surrounded by like-minded people uh, and you're going to be surrounded by a group of people that uh, they're not intimidating, honestly. They're, they're just a bunch of normal people like you and me uh, and, and all walks of life, which is really cool. So I highly recommend going to boot camp, uh, virtual or in person. You'll, you'll come out with a different perspective on a lot of different things and ready to take action. Yeah, no, I, I, I 100% agree. Um, Taria, put in your reps, Harris. Yay. Do you do you and Landon remember your first boot camp? We do. We were uh, we were in flight school, so we were literally two weeks into flight school. And what oh, wow, I, you were really we were you know. brand new. And what I like about boot camp is no matter where you are in your land business, whether you haven't started yet, considering it you know, been doing it in flight school like we were, or you've been doing it forever, like you learn something. It's a good place to be. So we got there and again, complete newbies. It was great to see, you know, everyone else who had bought into, you know, the land business. And we sit in front of uh, this guy. And so I just kind of look back, which I typically don't do. And I'm like, you know, hi, you know, is this your first boot camp? And he's like, no. He's very quiet and super sweet. And I'm like, well, how many have you been to? And he's like, this is like my seventh or my eighth. And we were like, what? And so we started, you know, just kind of conversing with him. And then he goes up as part of Grill the Geeks. And it was Roberto Chavez. Roberto. (laughs) We're like, 
Wow. I mean, just he'd been there for so, had been in the business for maybe a year or so, but he still found a lot of value in coming to the boot camps. So that spoke volumes to us. Um, but yeah, you, no matter where you are, boot camp, you get something out of it. You meet phenomenal people. And uh, like everyone else said, it's just good to get around that synergy. Like we come out of boot camp pumped, like, yes, 500 deals this year. Yes, we can do it. So great motivation. I love it. Okay, so here, here's the million dollar question, Taria. Yep. That we always get on the, the Facebook group and my networks group is, should I wait to go to boot camp? I just got into flight school or I just got the investor's toolkit. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend waiting to go to boot camp, or should I just go right away? What do you think? I say like uh, Landon and I did go right away. So it, it's not like it's above your head, right? So when we got there two weeks into flight school, it taught us or it kind of reiterated what we had already heard, but then it prepared us for where we were going next. So it was great. Then when Scott Todd got to a module, we could look back at our flight school notes where we were able to hear it. It just reiterates everything. So no, I say go immediately. I mean, when you can definitely go. All right, there, there's the answer. Does, it, does anybody want to disagree and say, oh, well, maybe yeah. you should wait? No, no disagreement. Because I put, I'm getting my reps in, so. No. You, there you go. There you go. Um, the technician, Eric Peterson. What are your what are your thoughts about boot camp from when you started to today? And now you're doing a module because you love public speaking. Right. Um, <clears throat> I think first of all, boot camp is for everybody. No matter where you are in this business, there, there's a place for you at boot camp. So, you know, the, the person that just bought the toolkit um, coming to boot camp, they're going to be able to jump in and kind of get this, this live in person overview of everything that's in the toolkit and more. Um, you're going to have the opportunity to ask questions to the speakers and, you know, kind of help you with those, those trouble things that you might not understand by, you know, just using the toolkit, for example. Um, for flight school people, um, you know, it could be a complete review if they're done with flight school, or it could be a combination of, of new information and uh, information they've already learned. But the bottom line is even if you've been through flight school and you're done, um, we hear it over and over that there's always something to be learned from boot camp. We call them golden nuggets, right? Um, and I think that most people would agree that, you know, no matter where they are in the business, they're going to find something at boot camp that adds value to their business. Now, coaching students, um, they get a little bit different portion of boot camp that, that not everybody else gets. They get a, a special VIP room with some time with coaches and things like that. But um, same thing for them. I mean, when they sit in those, those regular sessions, it's, it's review. Uh, of information they already know, but they can still learn new things. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's why I would say boot camp is for everybody. Um, I think another great thing about boot camp um, that I applied in my business was uh, going to boot camp created some motivation uh, for me personally and growing my business, and it um, kind of encouraged me to set goals for myself for the next year and, you know, be motivated to achieve those. So, um, and of course you have the networking aspect of it, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of how I look at boot camp. It, it touches on all areas of the business. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. And it's kind of weird now with the networking piece of it being virtual, but we're going to have that solution, um, in, I think just a few months, I don't know. Scott Boston probably knows more about the vaccine rollout than I do and the science of it. But there is, you know, live events coming in our 2021 future, I believe, at least, the very least, Elite Weekend. 
which is one of our, our favorite weekends, um, if not the favorite weekend for our uh, epic coaching clients. Um, Tate Litchfield. And boot what, camp. What, what are your thoughts? I love everything about boot camp. Um, you know, I used to, I, I used to get really pumped like the day or two before, and I'd have a hard time sleeping. And this was me going as kind of one of the coaches, and I still get that same kind of butterflies. I'm excited to immerse myself in nothing but land for a few days. I love going back to the fundamentals, the principles, and every single boot camp I've ever attended, I've walked away with some sort of self-realization like oh you know what maybe the business isn't bulletproof in this one specific area and i leave boot camp with a desire to improve and i think that's the important thing is when you surround yourself with people who are motivated to make changes in their personal lives that motivation is contagious right it it gets into your bones and you become almost addicted to hanging around those people who have big goals and lofty ambitions. And that's what boot camp provides for me personally. That's why I'm so excited that in 10 days, we're going to be doing it again, regardless of the pandemic. You know, we can do it from the comfort and safety of our own homes. And I can still get my fix, so to speak, that will carry me in to the 2021 year, right? I'm excited for it. Every boot camp I go to, I meet someone new. I uh, see magic happen. I get inspired to take action. I, I don't know really what else to say about boot camp other than if you're not attending, you're missing out. Plain and simple. If you want these results, well, show up. It's plain and simple, right? That's all you got to do. Participate. Put yourself out there and uh, rub shoulders with other people who share your same thoughts and ideas and values in the land business. It's cool. No, no, a absolutely. And, um, you know, speaking of not sleeping, I think I, I told you my, my very first boot camp was in Vegas. And I literally, I had a guy fly in from Australia and uh, I didn't sleep. I just listened to my heartbeat the entire night. And I, I went in the morning just bleary eyed and I was just on adrenaline. And, but the whole time, like, I, I couldn't sleep and I'm thinking, well, you know, how am I going to talk for two and a half days and, and, you know, keep a room engaged and, and do all that? Um, and obviously, you know, from the first one to the, I don't, I don't even know how many we've done now. It's very different, but, um, yeah, I, 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 I don't get as nervous. I sleep now, but th those first few that, you know, they were, they were nerve wracking for sure. Uh, you, you know, but look, just like everyone else, I have to embrace the suck. People are going to embrace the suck and, and when they're starting their land business and, and be excited and nervous, I had to do it with talking to a, a room and, uh, you, you know, it never gets easier. You just get bad, better at it for sure. Um, and then of course, last but not least, Scott Todd. I think what, this what is number 26, man. I think this, this is our... Six? Well, I think, I think this is 26th boot camp. And, um, you know, I, I attended my first boot camp. Let's see, I started, uh, I got the investors toolkit on October 30th. And my first boot camp was at the end of February. Um, I had just, I was going to go to the one that you had in November that year, but it was my wedding anniversary and I'm like, uh, I'm going to pass on it. So I waited till February, um, and I will tell you, you know, so I had been doing the business for what, three months, somewhere in that range. And, you know, I, I, uh, I got an enormous amount of value out of it, but I, like, I didn't get, I didn't get, uh, I, okay. Maybe on the first one, I probably got like, I don't know, 30 nuggets. Okay. Eric talked about nuggets, 30 nuggets. And then the second one, I might've gotten like 15 nuggets and seven nuggets. Well, after doing 26 of these things, like I will still tell you that there's always a couple of pieces that you hear that you're like, well, that's a good idea, or maybe I should try that. And I think that what makes boot camp interesting for me is that this is a market. I think a lot of people forget this sometimes. Is like this is not a one one time thing. This is an is a market 
that is forever evolving, right? Like our own businesses are different today than they were back in November. We were talking about before the podcast today. So because it's a market, things change. And because things change, like I don't know how to better connect or learn new things without hearing what other people are doing or seeing or, or thinking about because ultimately it becomes that that market. And like I joke because at my first boot camp, I went up to you and I'm like, I need to sell a property for cash. And you're like, they get the eBay. We don't even talk about eBay anymore. Why? Because it's not really relevant per se, right? Like, I mean, do, I mean, Zeno used to live on eBay. I don't know that Zeno is even on eBay anymore. And then, no. then we moved from eBay to Craigslist and like Craigslist is, eh, is it in the, the dying stages? I don't know. Facebook marketplace comes in and then well, like something else will come along. So whatever it is, how do you, how do you know? Well, the way that I know is because I listen to the people who, who like make their living off of land investing. I listen to bloggers, land bloggers, and the people that want to be doing, but they're not doing. I listen to the people that make their money off of land investing. I make my money off of land investing. I know you do. So I'm going to listen to people that are actually doing it. And in the marketplace, I can figure out, okay, well, this, this platform might be dying out or this thing is, is new. Let's go over here. So that's, that's what the benefit that I get out of bootcamp. And I think that that's where most people should be focused on like the networking is great, but you know, like if you just go and listen, listen to what people are doing and what people are saying, man, it's amazing that the amount of knowledge that you can get. And like everybody else said, motivation and excitement. Bam, bar none. It is the energizer that I think people need every three months. No, I, I agree. And I think, you know, the investor's toolkit is great. Like, I think it's a really great fundamentally sound knowledge base, but that without bootcamp is not that valuable. That's why we include two free tickets with the investor's toolkit and now flight school is way above that because again, that's a real time experience. And no matter what's going on in the market, Scott can address what's going on today in that session. But the toolkit is recorded in one point in time. And unless I'm gonna you know, constantly keep updating it every three months, which I'm not because it doesn't scale, bootcamp is the only thing that does scale as far as um, that keeping up with that knowledge. So if you have the toolkit and you have not been to bootcamp, you're, you're doing yourself a huge disservice, honestly. So I think that that was a great point, Scott. You know, Mark, the other thing I'd say too, is like you're talking about oh, flight I, school. I, and what's cool about flight school to me is that it okay. is that real time thing too, because like the other day, uh, someone in flight school said, yeah, well, look, I've, I was mailing my offers and I'm working in this area and this is how much I offered for, what do you think? And, so right there, I'm able to go in and go, ah, too, you're dead on or too high, too low, whatever it is, to make real time adjustments, right? And I think that you get that same kind of benefit at boot camp too, because ultimately, a lot of the content doesn't change because it's core content. But then what changes is, is the interactions that we have based on the newest stuff, right? So if you've been to a boot camp before, Okay, you you understand the framework, but then you got to find the nuggets, right? Like, and, and unfortunately, there's not a there's not a there's not a hit you in the face moment that says this is a nugget coming soon, incoming. You have to like listen and go, well, that might be new for me. Let me go execute. And I know that on the the last uh, the last um, the last show with uh, Zeno and Bossman, Nightcap. Matt Forbes was saying the same thing. He's like, I've gone to the VIP room seven times. And in those seven times, I've probably heard Scott say the same thing over and over again, but then it hits me in the head that I'm ready to learn. And that's the secret. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and even selfishly for us, we always get a nugget. And I always get this, you know, this 90 day reminder, what I call Jeff Axton mind. So Jeff's first boot camp, he comes up to me in break and I'm, he's like, Mock, I'm buying these these five acre properties for $900. And I'm like, what? 900? I'm like, in, I've been in this area forever. I'm paying 1500. He's like, yeah. Like, and I thought I was the expert. He doesn't know anybody. 
Is that a lot like how Eric stole that buyer from that seller from you? I don't want to talk about it. That that wound is still no country for old men. Yeah, still fresh. Eric, you remember that guy, right? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's still paying. What, what what are you what are you guys? Uh can the cancel culture over here? It's uh that 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 pain, I don't know if it'll ever go away, Scott Todd. I mean, you well, know, just, I, I, I flew out. I flew pain. out to meet that guy. Yeah. Do you remember who, who delivered that pain to you? I remember. And just remember what kind of computer you use this to. That tells you a lot. Oh, that, that, that doesn't tell, tell me anything. I, look, I'm just playing the long game. Just playing the long game. One, one of these days, there's going to be just this monster deal that was just so close in Eric's hands. Kind of swoop and in and steal it. Swoop in like a hawk. Oh, I'm just kidding, Eric. I would never do that. I would just be honest about it. I'm taking the deal. I wouldn't swoop in. <laughs> There'd be no swooping. There'd be no swooping. Um, well, I think this was a, a really good discussion on, on bootcamp. I think that the, you know, the motivational piece of it and the knowledge and even in just the fact that the people that go multiple times, they're going multiple times because their, their business is different. So what they're learning, they're getting something different out of it every single time because their business is different. So it's, it, it really is just a, uh, incredibly valuable two and a half days. And there's not many opportunities where you get to get your questions answered live by the seven of us at, at any one point in time, um, for sure. And, you know, now that it's virtual, there's really no breaks in, in a way. Like even our, our lunch is a working lunch where, uh, you know, Mike and Scott are, are, are fielding questions because of the time zone change where some people have already eaten lunch and they're done. They want to get some questions answered. Other people are eating in, during that time because we start in Pacific Standard Time. So um, if you haven't registered yet, go to landgeek.com forward slash boot camp. If you don't have tickets, um, all you have to do is get a, you know, get the toolkit. You get two free tickets or get in the flight school and get two free tickets. And you can schedule a call with uh, Mike and Scott and do that. Just go to landgeek.com forward slash training to uh, learn more about how you can do that, which before we get to Taria's tip of the week, I do want to mention that today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can literally transform your life. Um, I want to, sh I, I didn't get permission yet to share it, but I got a Vox over the weekend um, from our coaching clients. In two years, he replaced his wife's income and she's now quitting her job for 2021 to stay at home with the two kids. I mean, for all of us, it, it really ful fulfills our why of, of why we do this, to, to move the needle in your life so that we don't just solve your money problems, but we solve your time problems as well, to do those things that, that really um, make life worth living and, and deepen those relationships. So again, learn more, go up that mountain of land investing with Scott Todd, thelandgeek.com forward slash training and schedule a call. Taria, put in your reps, Harris. What is your tip of the week? A website, a resource, a Mike Zeno quote, a cone, a book, something actionable for the art of passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. What have you got? Okay, so I have uh, several coaching clients that I've been in communication with and they are all asking about, you know, pictures, pictures of their properties and marketing. How do I market my properties if I don't have pictures and what pictures can I use and how expensive they are? So um, there is a website called unsplash.com. And this website allows you to go in and search for specific pictures. So land pictures, Colorado land pictures, Nevada land pictures. And you can utilize these pictures for free to market your property. Did you say free? Free. I can afford free. All right. Well, Eric Peterson's got some graphic design background. So, Eric, is this true? 
Did we you fact checking it? here? If Taria says it's true, we've got to go with it. <laughs> All right, royalty free. I love it. Unsplash.com. Great tip. Welcome to the round table, Taria. Yay. So yeah, thank you. All right, well, um, this has been great. I want to thank the listeners, remind them the only way we're going to be able to continually each week put pressure on Taria to give us a tip of the week is if you do us three little favors. You got to subscribe. You got to rate. You got to review the podcast. Send a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 wholetailing course, how to double your money 30 days or less. All right. We ready to do this? Yes. We're all good? All right. Yeah. One, two, three. Let, Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. Not bad, actually. That really wasn't bad. Um, Scott Todd, do you do you miss that Thursday night when we're setting up the room? Uh, well, okay, so not really, and here's why: because like, what happens is you like to set up the room at like seven o'clock or six thirty. And that's all cool and everything. I don't like to. It's what time AV is available. Okay. It's what time they give us the room. Okay, so you do that. But then you drag me from the East Coast to the West Coast. And so at 6.30. Yeah. yeah. What did I say? East Coast, East Coast. East Coast to West Coast. See, it's already No, I said East Coast to the best coast, right? No, that's not. That's what I heard. Anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. Carry on, Scott. But anyway, you... Anybody that wants to lose hours, like why would you want to lose hours? So I lose two, three hours. And so it's 6.30, maybe seven when we're starting. And guess what? One, I'm tired. And two, I'm like getting hangry. So like it's it's a bad combination. So the next thing you know, I'm eating like half the bag of M&Ms because I'm starving. And then I'm like sugared up, ready for dinner. And then I can't sleep because like who who can go to sleep on a like full stomach? But it's bedtime, so not really. All right. Well, I'm gonna be shipping you a case of melatonin. So that... <laughs> I don't need it. I'm good. I'm good. I need food at the right time, and that's the Scott, Eastern time zone. So, th- so Scott, we should I be eating dinner with me. you at three thirty in the afternoon. Listen, listen we should, Eric Peterson's not even showing up till four thirty. The real time of the universe is the Eastern time zone. I don't know what to tell you. Like. The rest of you are late, You're late for dinner, late for breakfast, man, you guys are waking up and I've already had like my donut and my lunch. And you're like, what's for breakfast? Breakfast. I've eaten two meals already. Scott, I thought you told me that time wasn't real and that you shouldn't be, you know, bothered by these time zones changes. I've never said that. I've never said I that. vividly remember you telling me like, yeah. oh yeah, I just. No, I'm not you, worried about You must this. have been getting a bad bad reading off your mouth because that's not something that came out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I swear. I, I, I kind of remember I you know. saying, like, this was nothing compared to all the travel I used to do at my job. To that's do true. A few, few true. Days, like, times a year. If I, went no. to, if I, went I don't to, mind traveling to the West Coast. Look, it's, I don't mind traveling. I don't mind traveling. It's not terrible. But putting up at 6.30 when you should be eating dinner. That's a problem. <laughs> I think your rationale is flawed, though. I mean, you're not losing time. You're gaining time. Like, you have, what, three more Scott Todd hours of the day when you go to the no West way, Coast? Man, because, let me tell you why. Because I'm still going to bed at the same time. But now i got to wait three hours before everything else. i got to wait three hours to eat breakfast. got to wait three hours to, to eat lunch oh, and God. breakfast. That's a problem. That's a problem. So that's my wife. Plus, we all know that Scott Todd, that guy doesn't work three hours at a time ever. I mean, <laughs> never. So, yeah, I guess there is some, some truth to that statement, Scott. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like but, you guys but, were ganging up on me. What what would you guys uh, pick, pick me today? <laughs> yes. I mean, you're the numbers guy. You gain hours, really. You're I mean, technically, hours. Yeah, but then you kind of lose hours, too. I mean, I guess at some Keep point. Keep going, boss, but take the pressure off me. Keep going. <laughs> right, right. Oh, right. the pressure's always on you, Zeno. Talk about Zeno, no. I do miss some of those restaurants we would go to. Yeah. Those were great. Oh, yeah. We, 
Tell, Diego, tell me, wow. you got to just admit it, Tate. The best restaurants are on the East Coast. Columbia. I'm not going to admit Columbia. that. Columbia. Because this is on, you know, this is a recording. But yeah. um, we definitely ate well in, in yeah, uh, Tampa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're going to eat really well in Vegas in August. I, I already, yeah. like, Milos, Tate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got some other restaurants we'll go to, too. Get the Thai place? Mark, go to you, the Thai place for sure. You remember You remember that? Look, listen, and see, this comes back down to the food thing where I, like, took you to some good restaurants on the East Coast. Let's not forget the two great restaurants that I chose in Vegas, Tate's hometown. One was that Italian restaurant by the by the Marriott where Boston was in his wife beater. That one. Right, that, right. That one. Right. That yeah. Italian restaurant, top notch. That's old school Italian, man. You you could smell the mob in there. Oh, no, look, I've, is, I've, yes, I've I publicly remember that. apologized. I have publicly apologized now many times to you. Yeah. So, and the community for the, all the Panera bread jokes at your expense. Yeah, that's right. Because you're yeah. now an official foodie. Yeah, he's so, got a good palate. We got to, yeah. He does, I think yeah. I had to publicly like, apologize too. Bob yeah. Italian Restaurant. Zano missed out on that one. Did you want to apologize, Bossman? No, he doesn't want to apologize. <laughs> no. We, some, some, sometime we got to get to Boston, though, just for the kibbe. Raw kibbe. Raw kibbe. Mike Bossman's still sending me images of you screen sharing you with a bald cap. I'm just saying. Not true. I don't know. Not true. I don't know. Mike. I'm not what liking that. Lose by saying that. I don't know. I'm not liking it though. Uh, we, oh, we no. does, it, does that get brought up every nightcap now? No. <laughs> Ever. Forbidden topic. Is, is well, there, I yeah. will tell you, Mark, I was I was on YouTube the other night. And as a recommendation, it came up that the Land Geek guys like were live. The Land Geek was live. And I'm like, what? And I go over there and I watch. And I'm like, fast forward screening through. Now, it said it had ended. So I was watching it after the fact. But I, I now have a VA that watches all of these and fast forwards and send me oh, any no. unusual screenshots of Mike Zano. <laughs> I, I, a VA I, dedicated I, to the nightcap? <laughs> yeah, I got VAs that are watching surveillance, man. Oh, surveillance. God. We know. We know. I've given oh, them images gosh. and say, said, if he does not look like this, I want to know about it like ASAP. You better uh, you better not drink anymore on the nightcap, buddy. Co coffee and soda only from now on. Yeah. Only one bottle a night. I told them, you, you see anything outside the, the normal? You just execute this command on this Wait, website. Robert and Land. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Land. You just execute oh. this command and his phone will just start ringing. Not about Robert. Oh. Robert Land. Hmm. Robert Land. He has All a right. lot of friends. <laughs> Forgot about um, that guy. Listen, if your name is Robert Land on Facebook. Doesn't exist. We, who are you? We want to know who you are. Reach out to, to Zeno. Come on the podcast. Come Zeno's the podcast. doppelganger. Because we believe we believe that someone has edited Mike Zeno's picture to look like Robert Land. So this is an APP calling Robert Land in the Facebook community. <laughs> Robert Land, please. Robert Land. Please show up. Please stand Hi, my up. My name is Robert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And on that ridiculous note, everybody have a great day. Thanks, Mark. Thanks. Yeah.